So in this lecture, we're just going to uh, you know, warm up a little bit more to this concept of diet and nutrition and start thinking a little bit more in terms of uh, chemically what we're talking about and um, even specifically the lang language. For example, what do the words diet and nutrition mean? If you just go to Wikipedia, according to Wikipedia, nutrition Oops. Nutrition is the provision to cells and organisms of the materials necessary in the form of food to support life. Okay? So nutrition is the provision. And so for you, you're an organism. So it's what's provided to you as an organism um, that are necessary to support your life. And as it turns out, many common health problems can be prevented or alleviated with a healthy diet. So the word diet then is related to nutrition. Diet is the sum of the food consumed by a person or other organism. Okay, so the diet is the, um, the sum of the food consumed by a person or other organisms. So the two words are related. Um, basically, nutrition depends on the diet. So what we get, um, you know, as far as... Um, Nutrition is provided by the diet. All right, so um, the provision then that would come from the diet. All right, so those are the definitions of those words. So since diet is the you know what's provided to us, the nutrition is um, the materials necessary to support life. All right, so there's problems then associated with a poor diet. Um, two words that are of note is this concept of malnutrition and undernourishment. Malnutrition is when you have a diet, so the, the sum total of the food, the diet, is lacking in the proper mix of nutrients, even though the energy content of the food eaten may be adequate. So what this means is a person um, might look normal. They don't look like, for example, they're starving. Um, they might look normal or they could even look overweight or be overweight, be of normal weight or be overweight, um, but that person may still be considered to be malnourished because the diet is not providing all the necessary nutrients to keep the organism healthy, okay? So it can lead to all kinds of um, health issues. All right, so that's this term of malnutrition. It's improper nutrition. Undernourishment, on the other hand, is the condition in which a person's daily calorie intake is insufficient to meet metabolic needs. And what that means is undernourishment is there's not enough um, nutrients um, or energy. Okay, not enough nutrients. Okay, like raw materials, basically. or energy to meet the metabolic needs and that means um, you know metabolism is you you in you take in the food as the diet you know all the different bits of food that you're eating the diet your body takes it in and then it breaks it down to these basic building blocks and then reassembles that food that's been broken down into um, new cells um, you know, you're always uh, losing skin cells, epithelial cells line, you know, the outside of your body and the inside of your body all the way through your digestion, digestion tract. So those cells are always sloughing off, um, off your skin and off your digestive tract. So they need to be replenished. And so your body will take the raw materials through your diet, break them down and build them back up into what they need. Um, then all of this, um, all these biochemical reactions, most of them are not what we would call spontaneous, so they require energy to proceed. They, maybe you'd say they're endothermic, they require energy, and the energy comes also from the food. And so <laughs> undernourishment, that's where you see people that look, you know, look very thin, you know, um, to the point of, you know, starvation, basically. Okay, so that's undernourishment. So malnutrition and undernourishment are two different issues. There's a malnutrition is an issue in the U.S. There's not a lot of people literally starving to death in the U.S. like there are in other parts of the world, but 
malnutrition is a big problem in the U.S. And data from 2006 states that 66% of all adults are classified as overweight, with nearly half of that 66% classified as obese. And 33% of American children are classified as overweight. So the, the issue in the U.S. is sort of the opposite of lots of other parts in the world. It's it, health issues associated with too much um, <clears throat> food, not necessarily the right types of food, but um, too much energy, and so the body can't use all of the energy, and so the raw materials that carry the energy then are converted to fat to be stored um, for later. All right, so that's a bigger issue in the United States is this, this particular issue. So these types of people can be malnourished. They're not undernourished, but they can be malnourished um, and overweight at the same time.